Hello everybody, how are you? We're doing a series of videos, uh, spotlights on different communities, and this one is going to be on the city of Chino, the town of Chino near Los Angeles in San Bernardino County. Very interesting because Chino, believe it or not, was established uh, with a lot of dairy farms. It was a uh, one of the first centers of the dairy industry in Southern California and it has long been connected to high quality milk and dairy products. And what's interesting is that while the Levi's uh, Jeans Company was being established in the San Francisco Bay Area, the mid 1800s, of course, with the gold rush, the development of the dairy industry was taking a similar path in Chino. And while there were work clothes being worn by people on the farms, of course, at that time, uh, the jeans style uh, hadn't really taken off until uh, it was invented and developed in the Bay Area and spread throughout the world. And one of the first places that it took, had a toehold was it in the Chino Dairy Farms back in the mid to uh, mid late 1800s. And you wouldn't think you might, you would need uh, special work clothes working the dairy farms, but guys, if you've ever milked a cow, you realize you need some uh, flexible, uh, comfortable, yet rugged gear, and jeans uh, filled the bill. Now what happened was the dairy farmers in the area modified the original genes that were developed for the gold prospecting uh, community and they modified it for the dairy farmer and they made so many changes that the genes started to be made in chino and that's why to this day you hear people call them chinos uh, or as an alternative name sometimes they'll call genes chinos and the reason being is that the dairy farmers in Chino, California, modified the original genes to meet the needs of their particular workload. And that might mean having extra pockets for uh, milk bottles, uh, milk products. You might want to keep some cheese with you as a snack. Okay. Uh, and they had various, they had more pockets, essentially. Much like uh, pants today have pockets for tech products like uh, cell phones, etc. In those days, they might have a uh, snack cheese product, a cheese snack uh, pocket, I should say, where you would just say in the morning when you kiss your wife goodbye to uh, go out to the work the dairy farms, milk the cows, she would just put a little piece of uh, cheese or two in that uh, cheese pocket as a snack. Okay? And you say, well, that could be expensive. Well, guys, they worked at a dairy farm. They made the cheese, okay? So they were just slicing off some of their own product to have a snack throughout the day to keep uh, the old dairy man working. And, of course, so many milk products uh, were developed or innovated in Chino. Now, Wisconsin and states like that are often uh, brought up when people talk about, well, what are the centers of the dairy world? And... Chino isn't necessarily on the top of everybody's list, but you got to remember this is a different era and so many products, scalded milk, condensed milk, evaporated milk, baked milk, uh, dulce de leche, um, I can't think, infant formula, buttermilk, milk skin, koa, and you know, malaya, malay, uh, so many milk products were developed in Chino or refined and uh, made in four different niches or niches, however you want to say the word, uh, in different parts of the world, both geographically and demographically, as well as medically. Certain, certain patients need a kind of milk, and Chino, being the leading developer of specialized milks, came up with different types of milks for certain conditions. So, for example, let's say you went into the hospital to have your appendix removed. Well, the body responds to a certain type of milk called appendix removal milk. Uh, it helps with the healing process, and that was developed right there in Chino. Uh, not only that, but yogurts like Skier and uh, Razenka and Arion 
uh, Doug and Leben, those were all acidophylline. Those were all developed in Chino. And what you had was people, you had a, a growing town and really so many jobs in the dairy industry that that's really all people talked about. Because you either talk about the, the weather, politics, or work, generally, with people from work. And so it was really the beginning of collaborative idea generation or brainstorming on the fly, as people call it, where ideas were generated just from kibitzing in the break room. And different types of cheeses were developed. And, and, and there were certain factory accidents, like the famous Chino uh, dairy explosion of 1887, which resulted in three new types of cheese products because of the explosion and cheese raining down onto different parts of the plant where normally they would have separated those flavors, those types of cheese. They were combined and now you have Roquefort, okay? You have uh, Swiss, uh, and and you have a blue cheese, and all three of those were developed in Chino because of that explosion. Now, there were also various other uh, things that happened in Chino. For example, in 1891, there was a flood of the town, and the cheese began to rise to the top because it would float. And what they wanted was a cheese that would help you stay alive in the case of a flood. So they developed Swiss cheese with holes in it. And the holes, although you see on the outside are there, they're also in the inside. So they had pockets of air, which would make the Swiss cheese float better than any other kind of wheel of cheese. So if you remember in the Titanic, when the uh, ship started to go down, and of course that was in the early 1900s, they started throwing wheels of Swiss cheese to the people that were in the water and potentially drowning and saved so many people that might otherwise have lost their lives in that tragic accident. So Chino is uh, based, uh, their economy, their history, their founding was based on good old milk and cheese. Guys, that's just really the beginning. I'm trying to give you some context, some history of Chino. And we're going to come back. We're going to have so many more videos about the secret Chino handshake, which only locals know. Uh, songs that are based on Chino. Chino movies that have been shot in town. How The Hollywood connection, of course, that I just mentioned. The, all of the different movies. There's so many uh, the different things you can buy downtown. Uh, how to meet hot, sexy young people in Chino if you're in the dating world that's trying to find a partner. Guys, come on back. We're going to have so many more videos on this cool town, and we'll talk to you then. It'll be a lot of fun.